Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition, Sphere of Influence on the Mysterious JG. I had the brilliant idea of saving at the end of a video so that if something goes wrong, I can recover the video. Genius. Pure genius. Couldn't save this film. Anyway, uh, so we won a pretty big fight last time. We beat uh, Yoshiaki... Uh, man, I'm blanking on his name. Um, Yoshiaki... Blah, 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 blah. It starts with an M. <laughs> we took out y Yoshiaki Satake, so it doesn't start with an M at all. Um, and uh, his uh, big gang of bad dudes who wanted to take out the president and also Neon Matsu Castle. But now we've got Yoshihiro Ashina. Who is, um, he's got, um, 2,000 troops, and he didn't bring any adjutants or anything to be with him, but I believe he's the head of the clan, Yoshihiro Ishina. Let's uh, read up on this gentleman. Because he's, uh, he should be listed in early in the list here. Because these are the, it's the nearby clans. I think they're going to tell us about. So he is the head of the clan. He's the daimyo, twentieth uh, head of the Ashina clan, second son of Yoshishige Sataki. So that's right. They sent the, he's, he's the one who kind of gave the Satake control of the Ashina clan, because they could either have had us or the Satake loaned them a new head. He was adopted by. Shirakawa Yuki, but married Moritaka Ashina's daughter, becoming an Ashina. Uh, his stats are not as high as uh, Yoshishige's were. I want to make sure that I'm not losing my mind that Yoshishige is. Um... Yeah, so that's this guy's second son. Um. So this guy uh, was clearly the real threat. He has much better stats, and he's got the title sergeant. But now his son, who uh, was sent to rule this other lesser clan, is here with fewer troops and not as good stats. Bloody-handed, you are down to like less than a quarter quarter of your starting strength. So you need to you need to bug out. A sh um, Shigazane might want to bug out. Actually, for Shigazane, the smart move is Leave probably to, to pull back. Because I think I'm only going to be allowed to have... Possibly only have three units on the field at a time anyway. So, we would want it to be uh, Toriyama Rosaru, a.k.a. Lethal. Uh, and El Mandretta. And... Uh, Wait a second. I don't need him to bug out. I need him to hang around. But I probably don't want him to be the focus of their fire. Yeah, your target shouldn't be bloody handed unit. Your target should be... Yeah, Monomiya Castle. We still haven't taken over Mio yet. They're um, they're fighting the good fight up there. Well, the bad fight, I guess I should say. Stop here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where do you think you're going? Well, you're not going to be able to handle those castles if that's where you think you're going. It looks like they're committing uh, more than just Yoshihiro's personal unit. All 
Alright. They're queuing up for battle. We do not want you to enter the castle. We are... We're showing us outnumbered, but that probably is because Elmandretta's unit is not considered there, even though they were just at that castle in the last video. Advance. Well, I don't actually want you to advance, per se. I would actually like for you to bug yes, out and for you to come in. Acknowledged. Begin. Uchihiro Oshina, your head is mine. Get them. A birthday present. I like them. So I'm going to see if I can get them to engage Understood. with Lethal first, because Lethal's got a bit more troop strength to actually stand up to them. Um, so he's got Tiger Hunting, lure in enemy and strengthens own unit, and then Grimith has Cunning Fox, causes enemies in front to attack each other. So that's not going to really work uh, with only one enemy unit. So we're going to probably want to save up to do tiger hunting. And again, that'll be useful if it drags uh, drags them in close to lethal. And prevents them from picking their own opponent. This is how battle is done. Now this should, even though we're kind of at a disadvantage troop wise this should actually go fairly well because our stats are going to be higher Leave it to me. we've got um, Shigazane's got 85 leadership and 91 uh, valor and I probably should have let one of the created officers be in charge but I was wanted to see plot stuff but um, yeah Toriyama Rosara's unit 96-96 these guys, 51-55. We are not suspending this battle. So this should go our way. Begin. Oh, wow. Not bad. Damn. That tiger tactic, it really did a number on our troops, too, but... So it feels like they're still attacking because the music hasn't shifted. But, um, yeah, Shigazani didn't get a chance to do anything there. But at the same time, Toriyama Rosaru uh, took heavy losses in a hurry. So I think he's not, he's going to have to head home. But, yeah, they had him outnumbered more than two to one. And he just, he, he made that fast. So, um,. Now, in a sense, we could send everybody home because the forces they're arraying against us no longer have the manpower necessary to overcome um, Sukagawa Castle or uh, Motomiya Castle. So I feel like if we defeat them in the field, we might capture officers. But, no, I mean, at this point, I could, I could have everybody march home because they're sending out armies that can't overcome these castles. But my real surprise is that Mio uh, hasn't already fallen. So let's get on that. Come on, Mio. You're no match for me. Mio Castle is now mine. I'll have no one throw their lives their lives away anymore. So I've gained the Blitz Street. Osaki clan was eliminated by the Date clan on September 1584. Pa. So you guys you guys are clearly not needed for the defense. Because like I said, at this point. I could just pull everybody back and let them assault castles that they can't handle. But I don't even know if these guys are still really advancing because the music stopped. So let's just wait long enough to see if these guys are still doing anything. Because if you guys have all stopped advancing, and you have... It's 
67 or 6176 8273 I mean I could just say hey I don't like you guys hanging around in my territory but at this point I'm like no we just beat you a couple times back home everyone let's all go home let's go back to base so we took out the leader of the Ashina clan even faster than I thought we would. And I didn't expect that to be that bad. But, um, yeah, Lethal just killed him. So let's, uh, let's let this turn in so I can dispatch some people to start running Mio Castle and just start, a, start rebuilding. Because the peaceful music's playing, which basically means they're not attacking anymore. And then as soon as we get back into our castles, they will stop, um... Let us begin they, will, the they will bring everyone back. And JG Mystery now Here is beginning the meeting. Balance. We, uh, actually made more than we spent for a change. Reporting in. Yamizo tribe supports us. I don't know how I had time to make that happen, but I did. Appeasing the Shiokawa tribe has worked well. The support for us seems to have increased, so I've grown stronger. Masamune had grown stronger quite a bit, too. Yeah, it's happening a lot. So, Bountiful Harvest has made rice cheap. Perhaps now would be a good time to stock up. I don't think we need to do that, but I do need to avoid um, selling rice that doesn't need to be sold. So, we need a castle lord for our new castle. So, let's strike that delicate balance between rewarding somebody or giving it to somebody who needs a loyalty boost and giving it to somebody that we don't care about whether or not they're happy like you uh, you are already the lord of the castle so this brand new guy we could give it to but his stats actually kind of suck I kind of don't want to give it to any of the created officers because it's pulling you pretty far away from the main action Stat-wise, we're a lot more likely to get some use out of you than we are out of this jerk. So let's, uh... Where are you at? You are at Yonazawa. So we'll make you in charge. I'll let Vimeo Castle immediately. My governing won't let you down. We'll send Almandretta out to do a survey. Survey says... The Avatar knows how to spot fountains. <laughs> she is able to determine the existence of fountains. I like the idea of sending Masamune to personally negotiate with these tribes. Uh, so we need to finish off the Ashina. And eventually we'll need to finish off these guys, although I'm not at all certain that um, I'm going to bother before uh, we just say screw it. I don't want to wait for three years. Though we're not really changing our support with them much, are we? we got facilities that can be built. Oh, and no... Th oh, this place can do an armory, so I pretty much always jump straight to, um... Always jump straight to the facility that can be built. Well, I'm out of money now, aren't I? I thought I had more places that I could build facilities at, but now I don't have enough money to do it. Is that what's happening? Ugh. What would you like? I'm not supposed to be selling food. Thank you very much. Yeah, but it's I ran out of money. Okay. 
Communism's better. We got two different facilities that can be built. We go with theater, even though we know that Mike Nelson prefers no theater. And then our money, but our labor also will be completely out to go ahead and build a theater here as well. So the income's not a huge deal, but the population increase seems like it's worth it. At least in this short term one. Like in the long term game, if I'm planning to try to get castle facilities in those places, I might go for the facilities that will increase the conscript output over time. But for this little short one, it's like, yeah, just grow the place as fast as possible. We only got a couple of, couple of years before we're switching to another scenario anyway. Uh, now we're pretty much out of cash. Oh, we're not out of labor. Oh, shit. Let's... Sorry for my what would you uh, language. Like? Let's do one more little sale of uh, food. Feel kind of bad, much. but as long as we're not selling big, big honking tons of it, we should be good. We will do a little development from the overseers, and we will call it a turn. And probably with Masamune's return home, which will be the... <laughs> and it's going to go straight through Megami. It's going to march right through these lame fucks' territory. What are you going to do about it, orphans? Yeah, we now have uh, Story triggered a truce with these guys. So we're going to march right through their territory and way home. The Oda clan has been eliminated by the Utsunomiya clan of all clans. There's more than one clan marked as Oda clan in this game sometimes, but yeah, the Ashina are going home. They're like, well, you beat you beat our leader and our leader's daddy, so we're just gonna leave now. Mm. Onward to the battlefield. Oh now this dude is marching. Oh, because we because Masamune is moving around up here, they're gonna come up here. But as soon as Marsamuni uh, gets home, let's decide what to do with the captives. Yeah, because we have their entire uh, their entire clan now. So let's try to hire them all. I need a little time to sort matters out. I'll go and cool my head off for a time. When I return, I will swear loyalty to you. So that's Yoshitaka Osaki. I'm kind of curious... Yoshitaka Asaki, eh? Oh, wow, there's a bunch. Of, oh, all these Oda guys are uh, now clanless. Well, it looks like Yoshitaki Asaki might actually already be considered ours. He's just not going to be available for use. Or he completely disappeared off of the list of officers. Because he's a former clan head. I was curious about reading his bio real quick. Um, that well. Extra intelligence experience for JG Mystery. We got a commons that can be changed. Oh, that's another facility that can be built now. Hopefully, we'll have enough money. Let us begin the meeting. Let's begin the meeting. Here is last month's balance. Reporting in. Monkey Merc has been showing some rather strange movements lately. Do be careful about marching that one. I have found hidden path, horses, and other resources around Mio Castle. Piston Honda Tribe supports us. Shiokawa tribe supports us. All that training is paid off. All right, Monkey Mark, what's your deal? What's going on with you, man? You're a created officer. You're supposed to be behaving a little better than this. Often objects to orders, appears to be discontent. My master must admit he doesn't seem to care about the discontent about us. So some neighboring force is actually using gold to um, it's this um, it's this discontent command they're actually conspiring 
You can spend gold to try to build up a discontent meter with somebody and undermine their loyalty. So somebody is actually spending gold trying to get Monkey Merc to either defect against us or to um, refuse to fight against them. And I've seen it. I, I don't think I've, I don't think it ever happened in the LP, uh, the previous LP that I noted, but I've seen it playing the game offline where you'll send somebody out to fight and they will ignore orders and not attack uh, a specific enemy. So he's at Neon Matsu Castle, so it is probably the Ashina. It is probably the Ashina. Now he was involved in that last fight. As far as what we can do about this, well, there's a couple of ways we could respond to this. I could ignore it uh, because it doesn't seem like his loyalty is low enough. I could marry him off to, uh, I could bring him into the clan. I mean, that's kind of, that doesn't seem like a really good, uh, seems like kind of a, you know, like I'm rewarding pretty bad behavior here. It's like, I think he's trying to defect. Let's marry him into the clan. But, um, it would probably work. The other thing I could do is see if, um... What would you like? Yeah, there's no treasures to be bought right now. So the game is just trying to tell me, hey, you should, um... I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, Monkey Merc. You got nobody to blame but yourself. I'm going to make you the lord of... Because Mio, we just gave to this new dude. So I'm going to make Monkey Merc the lord up here. And we'll have Moritani Endo become the new lord of Neonmatsu Castle. I shall work even harder to meet your expectations from your castle, my liege. So now... Ooh, we've got a couple of really pissed off people, but they're all the brand new folks. Yeah, these are the people that we just got. Because their serve, is serve, it says one year. So, like, for them, loyalty will say, isn't Date Clan my sworn enemy? Basically, we need to keep them around for long enough for that to go away. Um, and then anybody who's worth having around should be reasonably happy because they've got the, um, you know, good thing the talented are rewarded. Yeah, like this person here, she contributed greatly to clan prosperity. Yeah, whatever. She's got terrible stats and she hates us. <laughs> so these guys might not be sticking around. Possibly, but again, anybody really good here? Well, we'll see. So, Monkey Merc's got the lowest uh, loyalty of. He's honored to have been made Lord of a Castle. It's good the talented are rewarded because he got the he's got the required loyalty twelve. That's the thing. So, the discontent penalty is going to go away after a while. I believe I've moved him far away enough that the Ashina can no longer interact with him. Possibly. And if they only build his discontent up to the point where he refuses to march against them, it no longer matters because I moved him away from the the front line against the Ashina. If they try to extract him and make him defect, well, let's put it this way, Monkey Merc. You don't want to do that. The Ashina are not long for this world. Um, otherwise, Grimmeth... I mean, this is always amusing. He's got the, he's got the lowest loyalty. His, his loyalty is at 20. 
And yet he still got loyal, lower loyalty than some other people. Just because he's closer to his required loyalty than they are. So, Morishige not that happy. Bloody Handed, he's, um, I guess he briefly was lord of a castle because he defaulted to being a lord when I moved Monkey Merc. But yeah, if I'm understanding this correctly, I'm now looking at people who are in the blue. So nobody that I care about other than Monkey Merc and potentially Utadate because it would be fun. We could marry her off to somebody. Everybody else is fine and dandy. Um, I'm probably coming up close to the end of a video now. I yeah. So let me let me take like one domestic turn and then we'll call it a video. I think I should have enough cash to do um, not to do the road work that I was thinking about. That would involve selling a bunch of food, uh, which could be. I mean, I could decide. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let the Ashina live another year and do some some infrastructure work but I would if I was going to sell food to make money to do infrastructure work I want to wait till the winter um, so where was it that they said we could do facilities Nakanita okay there are no officers that can execute this huh fountain Okay, you're working your way towards an orchard then. Because there's nothing I can do here that's going to um, do like population growth stuff. And I probably want to get some actual officers here since it looks like I got nobody except the castle lord. And yeah, we're back to having a bunch of folks here. So get somebody whose poll isn't terrible, even if they're not that happy about being here. You should not be the overseer, but I guess Kojuro was doing other stuff last time we did stuff here. Let's get at least one person who's loyal up there. Do I have enough money to do uh, any improvements? Well, this is a twofer. This is going to increase two different towns at once. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to delegate. Yeah, building a road here will improve two towns at once, so it's worth doing. I'll let JG Mystery do it because uh, he's who they recommend. I don't have anybody. Aren't there special Earth? Yeah, because he's got Earthworks expert. It's only leave me five hundred gold though. Screw it. We're not gonna do Earth or Roadworks right now. We'll just. Um, We are going to focus on whatever suggested by each an overseer. That uses all of our labor. That leaves us with a little bit of gold. We'll call it a turn. People have added a workshop. Omuru Castle yielded to Shimazu Clan. And we've got a brief moment of peace here. Got people arriving in Mio Castle. So our prayers went unanswered. Oh, I'm sorry, Asso clan. Your orders? Here is last month's balance. So we actually made more money than we spent because I backed off on that road work at the last minute. Reporting in. My training is paid off. I'm ready to suckle plenty more rulers. Sorry. Wasn't she a wet nurse? Yeah. Anyway, um, now I could. Well, now there's more facilities that need to be built. Mio Castle, probably, right? Yep. Yeah. 
So, rice dealer. Yeah. And, uh, what was the other thing that looked like it was... It wasn't Rifu, it was, uh... Somebody else needed a facility. Eh, rice dealer. Not thinking about it too hard. This might not... I might not do facilities quite the same way in our next one, but, um... Man, it's a bunch of places that can use a facility. I swear Maramori wasn't flashing last time. And then you are gonna get a theater. And we got labor left because I didn't have enough freaking gold. Dang it, JG. Ask for anything Let's you want. sell the least amount of food that will allow us to sell just so that Thank we you can for your patronage. just so we can use our freaking labor. Alright. Call it a turn again. And I really think at this point I'm supposed to be ending the video, aren't I? Let us begin the meeting. Here is last month's balance. Reporting in. No reports. Nothing to report. No facilities to be built. I finally got enough gold that I could do this road work if I feel like getting JG Mystery on it. I just want to use all the freaking gold in the history of the world here. Actually, you know what? What the hell? Let's queue this up so I don't have to worry about it for next time. I'll get it done. 1,600 gold cheaper. Oh, I might not even need to sell food now. But I am what still going to sell like? a little bit of food. Thank you very much. Because what I'm going to do is just queue up all of the road work. That we could possibly need up here. Oh no, there's more. Ah, oh, shoot. Because Suganome, all these different places have little patches. I'm doing the I'm doing the long-term expansion star road work now, which I shouldn't care about because I know I'm not actually going to benefit from this in the long run. But what the hell? Let's help, uh... Oh, you know what? Yeah. These places, I don't even have, uh... I don't even have a good thoroughfare now, because when I built my thoroughfare, I didn't own all the cities that I own now. So now I got good roads all the way down. I'll improve this one, because it'll make invasion easier. Yeah, and then I'll just frickin' stop. I can quit any time I want with the road work. And uh, we're gonna send uh, Lady Tollpanzer because she's got Earthwork Expert, which should make it cheaper. Although Grimmoth might make it even cheaper yet. So it's like mine, he'll get it done 1600 gold cheaper. So we still have a little bit of money that we can spend on all the, the uh, development and uh, I think from here I'm gonna save it and we'll advance the turn next time in case anything actually happens but yeah we got uh, Grimoth and JG the two great LP luminaries that they are are doing a bunch of road work to create long-term growth even though we're getting ready to start a new scenario probably in a couple of videos time because at this point to finish this quest, all we got to do is is hold this castle, which no long, no one is attacking anymore. And um, once we get that finished, it's time to just, like, take out the Ashina clan once and for all. I'm Mysterious JG. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you join me next time for more Nobunaga's Ambition, Sphere of Influence. Bye-bye.